Nintendo came to us with a challenge to bring the Poltergust G00 to life. The Poltergust G00 is essential for ghost catching. Luigi's new powerful moves, Slam, Suction Shot, and Burst work wonders against tricky ghosts that stand in your way. Slam and blow away the ghost's defenses with the upgraded Poltergust G00. Luigi can summon and control Gooigi an all-green doppelganger able to slip through tight spaces, walk on spikes, and otherwise help Luigi overcome obstacles he can't alone. Getting the opportunity to bring this off the screen and into reality is as amazing as it is incredibly challenging. This is a massive project with incredibly detailed specification and absolutely no room for any mistakes. In order to make the Poltergust come to life, we're utilizing a wide variety of our shop's capabilities. We're taking the original files provided to us by Nintendo and remaking them in Fusion in order to help us create a 3D prototype that can exist in the real world. Since this project started, our array of over a dozen 3D printers have been working around the clock to get the parts in our hands. Much of the larger parts have to be cut up into smaller pieces in order to fit in our printers, so we're using regular gluing and ABS welding to create the complex, interconnected components that build the Poltergust. After hand carving the design from urethane prototyping foam, vacuum forming heated styrene allows us to make shapes that are both lightweight and incredibly resilient. We're designing and creating custom electronic circuits that will allow the bilge fans to not only work in one direction, but both intake and exhaust to allow the poltergust to do some of the fun things it does in the game. When you paint something like this, you don't just paint it once. There are multiple coats, primers, bases, colors, clear coats, Precise masking and attention to detail is invaluable in giving the Poltergust a show floor shine. To create the large, prominent goo reservoir, we're using thin layers of expanding foam dyed fluorescent green and backlit with LEDs in order to simulate the effect of a tank filled with glowing green slime. It's a nice house for Gooigi. For the leather straps on this, we contracted another shop we've done a lot of business with in the past, our good friends over at God Save the Queen Fashions. Kathy and her team are expert leather workers, and they've put together a really cool set of straps and pads. Leather was also used in the large backpack pad, hand stuffed to create a plushed, oversized aesthetic perfectly matching the visuals of the rest of the poltergust. Putting all this together is a bit like solving a puzzle that another evil version of you created just for you to solve. There's no extra space and no room for error, and the order that each piece has to go in this replica is incredibly specific. As anyone can see by now, there are a bunch of hands in this project, and that's perhaps the most important part of tackling a complicated replica like this. A great team is indispensable when doing something like this. The hallmark of a good project comes from the people who put their work into it. We hope that when you get the chance to hold or see one of our pieces that we've spent so much time and work on, that it brings you into the game and gives you that same sort of joy that we get when we finish a piece. 